I personally cannot believe Ugusi, you are here again and you clicked onto another one of my videos. You are appreciated by me. Thank you so much. Okay, so this is a catch-up session on what I've been up to this October. It's going to be a bit of vlogging. It's going to be a bit of storytelling. And it's going to be a bit of a catch-up session while I'm sipping on Amarula. Cheers! This October is not even done. It literally, it's the 15th of October. But I feel like so much has happened. But hey, let's just get into it and let me catch you guys up. So guess who did a photo shoot? Boo, 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 boo. No, I had to do that photo shoot because in all honesty, I felt like um, I've just been ignoring my Instagram for a very long time. And I want to get to a point where my Instagram has enough images and, you know, I'm working on my in Instagram consistently because, you know, I'm, I don't consider myself as an influencer. I consider myself as an an OF creator. And as an OF creator, I feel like I should be spending time on my Instagram trying to attract people to subscribe to my OF, which is, you know, my core income. And um, I feel like the boys subscribe when they see some things, when they see some assets. So um, I just wanted to spend time, you know, uh, working on my Instagram and making sure that my Instagram looks good because you're... I've been ignoring my Instagram for so, 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 so long, you know. And I say that I'm not an influencer because an influencer would create images and create videos and create, you know, every like the content that you create to attract brands so that brands advertise through them. But with myself, I'm not trying to attract brands. I'm really just trying to attract the boys to subscribe to my OF, you know what I mean? So... I was just like, girl, step it up, try again, do it again, and, you know, do a better job. It's so easy to just sleep on the job, you know, um, because you advertise, well, personally, I advertise my OF on other platforms, and you just become so complacent. You would say, ah, that's working. Why try or do something else? You know what I mean? But I feel like with my brand, especially on OF, I've been attracting so many, like, white boys, and they're like they are so demanding your white boys are so demanding white boys will literally wake you up in the morning and they will ask for videos white boys will literally like they will ask for like random stuff you know what i mean so i just wanted to attract the black boys i just wanted to attract the black guys black south african guys who just want to come on my page and just want to watch the content that i've already created you know what i mean so I was like, hey, girl, step it up, you know, book that photo shoot, um, get that makeup on, get that sexy on, and just post on your Instagram. So that's what I've been up to. And I really like how the photos came out. The photos were so gorgeous. I worked with um, Caption This Photography. Not like I worked with them as if it was like a brand collaboration. No, I paid for the services. <laughs> Yes, I did pay for the services and I'm glad about the outcome and I wish we'll see I can be I can try my best to be more consistent and you know do that um more often, you know, and just make my brand look good. You know what I mean? And more than anything, it's so hard as a creator to choose a brand that can be in line with yourself and that can um allow you to be as creative as you want and um not with me as nude as I want to be, you know what I mean? Because, you know, I just want to be comfortable when I'm in studio and just do my thing. So I don't want a guy or a, a, a brand that will like, like a photographer that will look at me and be like, yo, yeah, yeah, uh-uh. That's why even the other guy that I work with, Upiwo, I love working with him because he respects me. And ooh, 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 caption this photography. Her name is Mpo. Love working with her so much because she's she's a girl, you know. Like she's not about the business of. <laughs> so it's really hard, like choosing a creator. And oh my god, I feel like I did the best choice ever. Affordable rates and very close to home. And yeah, I just really enjoyed myself when I was creating that. Um, Instagram photo shoot. So ish, my October was busy. Yeah. And another thing that I'm learning to do this October is really just taking care of my body. You know, after doing my body um, last year, October, I gained weight. Like I literally, 
after I left um, the operation table, I think I gained like 15 kgs, like not even joking. And I was so depressed. I was so depressed because I was just like, oh my God, I spent so much money, you know, doing my body. And then the next thing I'm going to be gaining the weights all back. So I had to change a few things, you know, change a few habits that I was doing. And one of the things that I'm doing is just taking care of my digestive system, you know, creating those green juices. Those green juices are going to help my digestive system and, you know, eating more healthy and going to the gym more regularly and more than anything, doing fat freezing. So fat freezing is a process where... I don't know what they do, but apparently they freeze the fat and then the fat leaves your body through when you urinate. I'm not sure actually what it entails of, but I'm just doing it. I'm just doing it. This is my second month doing it. So I plan on doing it like every single month because I want to further reduce my waist, you know, because I feel like the one thing that we like social media influencers don't share after doing your body and doing that liposuction is that that thing requires a lot and a lot and a lot of maintenance and that's the one thing that i was not aware of but i'm learning the hard way now i am aware this thing requires maintenance oh but hey this october i'm learning that so all of that and there was just so much money for me to just 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 enjoy gain some weight so i feel like this october was a period where i was just serious and i'm like okay girl let us please take care of this body because we spend so much money you know what i mean and then what this girl went to intimacy yoga with the man with the boyfriend and it was such a beautiful 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 session you know um initially when i went there i saw them on instagram they were advertising it and i dm them showing interest and then they dm'd me back and they were like oh actually we would like to give you complimentary tickets so i was like oh okay i would like to do that so while i was there um doing the intimacy yoga i ended up creating like a vlog that i haven't posted actually i don't know when i'm gonna post it but it's so crazy how the intimacy yoga works, guys. Like, you know what they do then? Okay, so you face your partner, like I've showed you, and they teach you how to breathe in and out, working together with your partner. So when your partner breathes in, you breathe out. And apparently that helps you, um, it helps you guys understand in your relationship that you're going to work together. You know, when the kids are not around, he is around to take care of the kids. It basically teaches you, you see, you have to work together with each other. Um, there's exercises that you need to do, lifting each other up. You know, yo, it's literally like a yoga session. And I've also noticed that because it's intimacy yoga, ne, there's hardly times where I like sit and like look at my partner. Like look at my partner. Because like sometimes he just comes back from work and I just like he sits on the couch and he goes on about his business on TikTok and I go on about my business on my business on social media, you know, and we think that's an intimacy session, but actually it's not an intimacy session. So I really enjoyed that. I really enjoyed spending time with him and, and, and switching off phones and just, you know, looking at him and looking into his eyes and his soul. And like, it was so interesting how it really like improved our relationship because what we went through, like we were fighting before that intimacy session. So what we were fighting about was that. So he, after like a podcast that I was doing, I was podcasting with Ukade. Ukade is one of the guests that came onto my podcast, the chat room podcast. And then my partner came after the podcast because he wanted to say hi to Ukade. Ganti, Ukade, after the, the, us shooting the podcast, he was going to a shoot, you know, shooting, um, Cluff Cluff. Okay, sharp. So my partner says to him, oh, okay, since we're mingling and we're talking, let me take you to, uh, uh, I think it was Midrand where the shoot was. Anyways, I didn't want to go with them because um, I always take my raw clips after the podcast because I edit for myself. And editing is a lot of work. Yeah, but so immediately after the podcast, I love getting home and like just seeing 
the podcast and seeing how I'm going to edit it and how I want it to look like when I post it on YouTube. So I, eh, my partner decides, girl, yeah, it's okay, Shop, he's going to go with Ukade. And guess what? He did. He. Did he not come back at like 1 a.m.? And over and above that, I don't mind him coming back at 1 a.m. Maybe he went out with the boys. Lalela, it's fine. It's understandable. I mean, like, he's not a zombie. But coming back at 1 a.m. and then telling me that you created a cloth cloth tape and we didn't sit down and talk about that. Yo, that got me in my feels. Mm, 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 mm. That literally got me into my feels and I was just so upset with him. I was just like... I wasn't upset with the fact that he created a cloth cloth tape. Creating a cloth cloth tape is good because it's good for business. But I was upset with the how, the lack of communication. You know, we're supposed to communicate together. Who are you going to be creating content with? When are you going to be creating that content? So that Nami, I prepare my mind. It's okay, shop. My partner's not going to be home. He's going to be doing one, two, three with someone else. Yeah, bonje prepare my mind so i had no chance to prepare my mind whatsoever and he came back that night and he came back and tells me what he created a cloth cloth tape i was not happy about that at all of course i wasn't mad at the girl it's none of the girl's business what happens in our relationship business you know she's there to create content and my partner partner happened to be the one oh really what he into that space. So yeah, the content is there. That's fine. But as I is in in particular internally because I felt like oh, so there's a gap in our relationship with regards to the communication. But it was so interesting, oh, the intimacy yoga actually fixed all of that, you know? So like the gap in communication, I felt like oh, okay, when I was in the intimacy yoga and we were breathing together, <laughs> yeah, well, when we were doing the exercises that they said we must do, I never thought Suguti it would like fix us, but I don't know. Like it did something in our relationship that really made all of those gaps that we were experiencing. Like it mended all of those gaps. Like, and guys like working on a relationship is hard. Working on a relationship is hard. Um, you know, fixing that relationship is constant work. And I feel like, you know, intimacy yoga was the amount of work that I needed to put into my relationship together with my partner for us to be fine. You know what I mean? Of course, we needed a conversation to understand, Uzi, listen, we need to communicate when such things happen. And yes, we had that com communication and that conversation and it felt so good. But that intimacy yoga, it's as if like the conversation was like, okay, we're coming back together again. But the intimacy yoga was the glue that was like, okay, you guys are partners again. And it was so beautiful. I can't say it was romantic, but it was more, it was more of a way of you and I together are being conscious about switching off what is happening in and around us. And the only thing that we are going to be focusing on is you and I. I mean, like in the intimacy yoga, there was like a session where they said, okay, hug your partner. Hug your partner. The last clip that you, you saw on this vlog, they were like, okay, hug your partner and tell them why you appreciate them. And like, oh my God, I was just thinking about how much I appreciate him and why I appreciate him. Even like when I was telling him in his ear, whispering in his ear, why I appreciate him and how I, how much I appreciate him. I even shed a tear because <gasps> I was like, oh my God, this guy, he's actually such a nice guy. Ugh. So yeah, the intimacy yoga was just so amazing. And then guess who said yes to come into the podcast? Mpoa Badimu. Like WTF. WTF Mpoa Badimu said yes to come into the podcast. I was so dumbfounded. Like I was just so starstruck. I was so, I don't know. Jay. I just felt like, oh my God, is this girl actually for real? She's coming to my podcast. I mean, like out of all the podcasts that I hear in South Africa, you know, there's big, she's set on EE Law. You need a podcast and chill. You know, she's set on podcast and chill. So we can't even say Uguti, she came to my podcast because um, she needed 
uh, PR. No, we can't say she came there because of PR. She came there literally because she's a nice person. Like, genuinely, she's such a nice person. It's so crazy how much she's such a nice person. And, like, even when she came, she's so relaxed. Behind the scenes, I'm telling her, hey, Mpo, I was shooting another podcast, so I need to change into another outfit. And she just says to me, like, she's, like, her aura is just so relaxing. Oh, Montonjalo. You know? And then after the podcast, she says to me, hey, guys, please check out that podcast. It's on the chat room playlist in there on this channel. Please check out that podcast. I feel like it was such an educational conversation and whew, I feel like it was an empowering conversation. Especially if I wasn't starstruck, I feel like I would have asked her more things. But she's so willing to come again. She even suggested, it was, no, we should do this again. We should do this every month. I was like, what? You are saying that to me. Like, I'm just a baby on the internet. And here you telling me, Uguti, you're going to come to my podcast again every week. Like, yo. It was a humbling experience, I tell you. And then even after that, like, after the podcasting, like, when we were, like, saying the bye-byes and everything, she says to me, Uguti, oh, no. On Monday, say, hi, I'm by, say, hey, Alex, do you want to come? Do you join us? We're having a mkhod Monday. And I was like, of course I want to come. And then we went and we had Umkhodu and Usim's right was right there. Like, Usim's right is such a big YouTuber. She's been on gossip for so long. And we were right there. We were having Umkhodu together. And it was so nice to be chilling with such powerful brands. You know what I mean? And, you know, they were so humble. They were so abantu. You know what I mean? And ish. Guys. <laughs> Speaking of the fact that Abantu, so <sighs> something happened to me today, like today, 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 today. I want to, I, I, I want to talk about big brands and sitting with big brands, in it, but I also want to talk about what happened to me today. So, um, I think it was like two weeks back. Yes. No, a week ago. Two weeks back or a week ago, I don't know. I'm not going to say the influencer's name. I don't know if I should call them an influencer, but whatever. Let me just call them an influencer. So what happened was I was on her live, yeah, well, her TikTok live. And when I was on her TikTok live, I was drunk sitting on the couch in Chai Sile. I'm not doing anything. So I was on her TikTok live. And then... I went on the TikTok live and then I requested, yeah, bo. So when I requested, I requested to be a speaker. So we end up engaging on, um, you know, the TikTok live together with other people that are on the live and we're just engaging and we're just chatting and she's asking me questions on how I do my job and whatever the case be. But it was a, it was a nice, com it was a nice dope conversation. You know what I mean? Okay, sharp. And then, um, so she advertises an event that she's doing. So during the live, I say to her, Uzi, ish, man, bad word. But, like, I don't understand the structure of your event. Like, I don't understand who is supposed to be attending, what is going to be happening, um, if they pay the amount of money that you say that they're going to be paying, what are they paying for and what are they going to be receiving, you know? And she also wasn't articulating her events um, as well as I believe that she could have done, you know, because I was also somebody that wanted to support her, you know? So for me, wanting to pay my money, I was like, hmm, what am I paying for? So then I say to her, who's Yazinkel? Because you haven't structured it, let's have a WhatsApp meeting. Let's have a WhatsApp meeting. Let's talk about it. Let's, you know, dissect about it and, you know, um, um, let's help you structure it so that you can package it as a business and, you know, advertise it out and then do something about it. You know what I mean? And then that was me, you know, I was literally just saying, Wuti, can I help you? You know what I mean? I yeah. So that was on a Friday night. And then I said to her, it's okay, sharp. We're going to be talking on a Saturday night. Okay, sharp. On a Saturday morning, I mean. So the Saturday morning comes and um, something comes up. I get a call at home and I need to attend to home. Something that I do not want to discuss here on social media. I get a call to go home to attend to something like um, 
Kolomutu beka cool and she ekaya, who is very important to me. You understand? Now hear me. And it guys, Kolomutu is not cool. So if you think I'm wrong or incorrect, please. Now please understand me. We are news for magic. I'm saying Guti. I it's something that I don't want to discuss here on social media. Even with her, it's something that I didn't want to discuss with her. I mean, like I don't know her. Number one. And number two, Sishaning in the Bazoguto K shop we're um we're going to be helping each other with regards to this event. And like I just didn't want to discuss my personal issues that could have been a mishap that happened abruptly in my life. I understand. Okay, shop. Now um I say to her, it's okay, the meeting is at three o'clock. Three o'clock, I couldn't attend that meeting because of whatever happened on my personal space. Shop. And then on the following day, I um I think I text her or voice note her. Ah, I voice note her. I'm like, hey girl, I'm sorry about the last time, you know. I make an excuse and I'm like, yo, being taggy wearing taggy for two days. And oh my god, I was lit. Blah 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 blah. I just put it casually. And I couldn't attend to the meeting that we um, set up. And then I check on her again, like three days after. I was like, hey, girl, are you okay? You're always online, on live, on TikTok. So I never even get the chance to even talk to you about what we even wanted to talk about. Therefore, when you get the chance, just reach out to me and let's talk. If you're also still interested in receiving my help. Yo, <laughs> this needs a sip. The response I got from that. Hello, Takberi. Um, I want to say this in the most um polite way and most nice way possible, but you know what? You disrespected me. Okay, sharp. I get it. I disrespected your time. And I apologize about that. I party for his note and the anger again. You disrespected me. Um, at this point, I don't feel like you wanted to help. You wanted to sabotage me. Uh, I made time for you. And you didn't even avail yourself. How am I supposed to trust you going further? Um, you know, I'm a big brand. Uh, me being a big brandy, uh, I deserve to be... Like, Ukel was just throwing her weight on me. Ukuti, hey, oh, melung feel, and nobody is supposed to cancel something on me because, of, oh, I am this. And I was just like, yo, I listened to that voice note, and I was just like, yo, Ukel, like, yo, you know what I'm I'm understanding, eh? But, oh, my God, I feel like some things were not meant to be said, you understand? Like, especially because we don't know each other, you understand? Like, it would have been polite for her to say to me, Uti, Yini, are you okay? Is everything okay? Like, it was like, Yini, are you okay? Nothing of that nature. Um, is everything okay at home? No, nothing of that nature. Just her throwing her weight on me. Uti, hey, how dare you cancel on me? Um, you know, I'm a big brand. You wanted to sabotage me, actually. You didn't even want to help me. And I was like, yo. This is so much that she's actually saying to me and even getting to a point of accusing me of trying to sabotage her. Yeah, I understand. So it ended up, like, I ended up thinking to myself, Uzi, yes, Uzi, like, this thing of having a social media following and, you know, being on social media and having people that follow you, like, for some people, it really gets to their heads and it keep a Ubuntu in a person, you know what I mean? Like, I really wish, Uzi, like, if, if you're watching this and you want to be a social media influencer, you know, whatever it is that you want to do on social media, I really wish, Uzi, like, you don't get to a point, la, like when you enter into an environment don't do that because immediately when you do that you've detached yourself from reality you understand like people are allowed to go through life even when they go through life in 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 the in the the the, the mid conversation or mid meeting that is supposed to be happening 
people are allowed to go through life because you know what? People are not subject to life just because you have an important meeting or an important um, event that you want to plan. You understand? And over and above that, I didn't even expect money from her. Yeah, I didn't expect money from her. I didn't expect her to pay me for consultation. I didn't expect jack shit from her. But for her to be so entitled for my time, my intellectual property, like, it, it, I just felt like she was just being so rude, actually. Yes, I'm very incorrect. I was supposed to say, girl, I can't make three o'clock because... I'm drunk or make whatever excuse that I was making. But honestly, I was like attending to an emergency in my own personal space. Yeah, I understand. And like sometimes when you're going through an emergency, oh nice is cut so global explain. I said, yo, uh 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 you're also not going to be dictating to me as to how it is that I wish to express my feelings, my emotions, and how my mind, you know, switches itself on and off because of what's happening in my immediate environment. Jason Dingy Shoy. So like Ukele, like it was just like it. How am I supposed to trust you? Girl, you don't have to trust me going further or going like your Yo, 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 yo. I was actually so annoyed by her, but I was like, you know what? This is my response. Hey, girl. I didn't want to sabotage your event. I actually had such good intentions, but I'm so glad that you have people that are helping you, and I wish all goes well. <sighs> and I just rubbed off that entitlement energy right away from me because I was like no I am not going to be dealing with this and I was thinking to myself oh my god here I am with Abu Sims rights Abu Mpobabodimu like big brands and we're chilling we're chilled like guys social media numbers should not get to your head and make you assume as though you're big you're better than another person um, you're unapproachable. Um, you're rude. Jay, that's uh, like it mustn't detach you from Uguba Umuntu. It mustn't detach you from Ubuntu because at the end of the day, we're human, man. Yo, I mm -mm. So I think that's my biggest lesson that I've learned this October. Amongst all the other things that I'm aspiring to do and taking things one step at a time. But hey. Please follow me on Instagram as I'm saying because I'm really trying to improve my Instagram. And thank you so much for coming to my Vlogtober, Vlogication, story time, updates. And I wish that we update each other again with regards to what's happening with each other's lives. I love you guys so much and I really appreciate you and I hope that you stay blessed. And please, based on my October lesson, please remember to stay humble. No matter which space that you are in, whether you don't want to be a social media influencer, which whatever space that you are in, just remain humble. Like we are nambitega, we are jega when you are humble, you know, because whatever gift that God has placed in your life, the gift has a purpose, and that gift it has a purpose. And it would see it must heal other people. And those other people are not yourself. So the greatest way that people can reach out to you and actually benefit from your gift and not only benefit, but be spiritually nourished from your gift is Ubuntu. So when when I born, it's so big. And when I so feel you, feel me, I'm big. Ah, man. It's going to say, 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 and they eat and they say, hey, eat and they say, by pick a pick and they. So, please, in everything that you do, please remember to stay humble and telling you it's the best thing that you could ever do to yourself. And Nano will see you never know who you're talking to. Like, you never know who you're talking to because the person that you're talking to could be the person that could elevate you into your next level. I I'm not saying that I was going to elevate her. Okay, that I was talking about into her next level. No, because I know she's a big influence. She's a big influencer. You guys are probably going to pick up who I'm talking about. And I'm not saying that I was going to elevate her into her next level. No, 
But I'm also saying, Uguti, like, in your personal life, you never know who you are talking to that can elevate you into your next level. Guys, I love you so much. And thank you so much for coming back into my channel. I hope that you come again when I'm updating you on to my second part of vlog Vlogtober. I think it's going to be Vlogtober or it's going to be in November because I want to go celebrate my boyfriend's birthday because his, boyfriend is, his birthday is in November. <laughs> I love you guys so much. Mwah.